welcome guys thank you for being here today and uh, please uh, subscribe today we're gonna have uh, we're gonna do something fun we're gonna do a skeleton we're, get, we're getting close to uh, November and, and Halloween um, Day of the Dead all that so I'm gonna teach you some really fun now when you take a, a skeleton like this I want to show you a couple of ways to draw it execute it the first thing we got a little drawing pencil uh, it's a brown uh, I'm just kind of sit there and just draw my lines. These lines will kind of fade away, but they kind of won't. Uh, get my center. Okay, this is actually going to be a charro. Um, a charro, it's a big, huge sombrero for the Latinos. Uh, so I'm kind of making the, 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 the hat. Uh, it's, I have one that I made like this, it's actually for Texas. For Texans, so here's the here's the eyes. Those are the eyes right there. Here's the the nose. All right, this is where the nose goes right here. But this is a skeleton. This is a skull, actually skull. So I'm just gonna do this right here. Just kind of give me a shape. Uh, most of you guys, when you start when you start doing something like this, it's it's malleable. It's flexible. It's uh, don't get to your lines like this. Uh, it doesn't necessarily make it. Uh, see things as shapes and direction of lines. Uh, keep it simple. Uh, do yourself the favor and have fun doing this. Uh, part of the thing is when you guys get too serious, you're gonna fail. I fail a lot. I failed, have failed a lot actually. Uh, I'm gonna put a must mustache here. Uh, actually, this is gonna be a self-portrait. Okay, so, uh, and, and this is just one technique, one technique of many. Uh, I'm going to show you a different way over this whole thing. So here's this, this suit. He's wearing, uh, he's wearing a tie. Uh, he's got a collar, this, this invisible collar, shoulders, shoulders. So here's the, the, the shoulders. All right. So this is one way. Flexibility. Allow yourself to adjust, move. Uh, this is a long bristle brush. It's it it has an incredible stroke. We're gonna go ahead and start layering the oxide, and then I'll remove it. So here's my oxide right here. Now one of the things we've changed here. This is another neat way of seeing color. Uh, because you can literally see the, the color that you make on this transferred over not the reflection here on the bottom is different than when you put it like this so this is the same uh, so what I'm gonna do is 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 gonna give it a wash um, this is a beautiful little wash here like so uh, have fun allow yourself to to make mistakes this has a nice feel already by the way the skeleton's crying. Uh, same thing. Just, just have fun. Don't get too serious. Uh, so here's the. Part of the, the beauty about drawing like this, it, it, you can see the color. When you guys are doing this at home, have fun, guys. Don't don't, uh, don't get too serious. I'm gonna experiment uh, today with a little bit. I'm gonna try to. Uh, I'm gonna. This is thin. Okay. Uh, colors that are thin are weak. Uh, colors that are opaque are strong. Uh, blacks are, are very strong and the whites are very weak so so you have blacks that are transparent and you have blacks that are opaque uh, when you when you sit down and and you paint anything uh, have fun experiment is key is where you can really fi uh, figure some of this stuff out uh, really well now I've played with with uh, 
with uh, with uh, phthalo blue and this oxide, and you get some incredible light feel. Uh, I'm gonna put some, and it's phthalo blue. Uh, so here's the phthalo blue. So I'm gonna kind of pull this. The phthalo blue is it's a very black. It's a very it's a very dark blue. So but it has a feel to it. This combination, I'm not sure what it is, but this this color has an incredible feel to it. So what I'm doing is just kind of playing, trying to remove the white. The white kind of has a, it's a high contrast uh, and it really bothers the eye. So I'm just removing a lot of this white. This white. And when you're painting like this, remember this is, you know, this is, uh, this is part of the creativity. I'm gonna take this paper towel and I'm gonna sit there and, and wipe this down. And the image kind of went away, right? It's still there though. Well, you know what? Let's get rid of it. So I'm gonna come back here. So what I'm gonna do is do the, the back. This is very thin, uh, so here's the sombrero. You can see some of my outlines here. Here's some of my outlines, and I just washed all my lines, but it's okay. I'm not really concerned with that. Part of this, you can still see the. When you draw something. In the moment that you think of it as is uh, a skull, you screwed up, guys. It's it's not. It's just lines. It's darkness. Keep always that in mind. It's not a. I love that color. How, how kind of cool it looks. Look at that. This has a really kick-ass feel to it. So now that's that's starting to look good. So, so I'm gonna change brushes here. I'm just gonna feather this. I don't know. This hat has a slight. Now this is this is my heritage. This is where um, I know my last name is Wilkins, but I'm, I'm Hispanic and and uh, I, I relate to this. And I've seen this actually. I've been in places where, where you see these guys, you know, you know, rustle cattle and and you know, move herds and so I'm really strong. The Western actually. The funny part about this whole thing is that the Western. The cowboys of the United States literally learn from uh, the Spaniards how to be cowboys because they're the ones that, that basically came up with a concept. Um, you know, they're, they're the ones that lived in this, this really desolate situation here. So here I'm looking at this, goes this way, that goes that way. I'm going to make the eye sockets a little harder. Okay, eye sockets, like so. Right now, I'm just having fun drawing. I'm gonna create this. I'm gonna create a mustache on this. All right. So now I'm gonna thin this down a little bit. Uh, when I thin it down, uh, it allows me to draw a little bit better. It gives me these really fine little details. So this is a mustache, all right? Being creative and just throwing stuff like this is kind of the coolest thing sometimes. So here I'm gonna, I'm, now I'm mixing color here. Uh, and I'm gonna put a little bit more red to this. Now this red is opaque. This red is opaque. You see how it dominated the whole 
the whole, it just killed that whole blue, the thalo blue. And the thalo blue is literally weak towards this. You see how, this is one of the things you've got to learn, learn to do, so. Um, so, I'm gonna change brushes here in a few minutes. Because this is just too, it's too, I can't really control this one. It's not enough, it's good enough for drawing, but, uh, but I want a little bit more. We want to make this as realistic as possible, so. So here I'm just pushing my darks. The, the thing is with, with, with this, with this, uh, with this oxide, oxides and thalos, the philosophy of pushing back your color still is very important. I'm just kind of pushing back back stuff here, putting brush strokes there, uh, pushing, pushing lights, uh, you know, and I'm still drawing with this brush, but you're, you're, you're going to see, I'm, I'll get away with it here. I'll, I'll get back from it. So this is a bigger brush just to, so, so I can help. I'm going to sit there and model this. Okay, watch this. So you can do a couple of things. You can sit there and make holes. All right, let me get this here. Ah, draw my towels. You can sit there and make holes. All right. Okay, and here, there's my baby. Say hello to my little friend. So here, I'm taking this oxide, a little bit of this red, and I'm going to start painting. Each brush stroke, now look at this here. Each brush stroke, you see this color right here? I'm looking at this. So I'm just going to sit there and make these brush strokes. Control it. So here I'm going to push this in. I'm going to leave that white spot right there. What what I'm doing now is I'm really paying attention to my lights. And I'm going to change each color right here. See this right here? I'm going to grab a little bit of this white. Maybe a little bit of this yellow. Come back with this little bit of yellow right there. This is a little lighter. Here's a highlight right there. Not perfect, but it's there. This green is, I mean, yellow is right here. My shadow of my dark right there. I'm gonna put this right here. Now I'm I'm literally just covering this whole thing. There's a little green in this brush. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this red. Part of the beauty about painting with uh, with this color is it allows it to push it, pull it. All right, look at that. Take your time. Okay. My brush right now is loaded with this dark color and I'm just gonna put it wherever, everywhere I see the dark color. Not, might be wrong, but uh, but I just wanted to get a lot of this color off of it instead of throwing it away. All right. All right. Really quickly, it starts to work. 
I'm using semi-limited palette. Actually, I wouldn't even say it's limited, but I made a couple of colors here. So now, I'm going to take this color here. And I, I want to push that black back. So now I'm going to make this smaller here. Now, the thing is when I use this blue, blue has a propensity to go back. So you, you've got to sit down and allow yourself to, to use the blue to push the back. This, all of a sudden I use the blue and it just pop forward. The dark color in the eyes works. Um, so this brush right here, I'm gonna So now I'm going to come back and take this other color and encroach color into my painting. Nice little square jawline. Now this is funny, this skeleton here is a real skeleton of a picture and I'm just immortalizing this guy. And we don't even know who he is. So I'm making some dark colors here. But I want them to be warm. A little purple maybe. So I'm going to push this. Mustache here. I'm going to put the mustache. It's going to be the. Well, there's the mustache. Teeth are in shadow. I have a propensity to always want to look down. I used to normally have my palette down there. So what I'm doing right now is just building this nice color, trying to tell a story with the brush strokes. Now, if you notice that I've, I'm following brush strokes to do certain things. Um, when you paint, uh, when you take a color, like I'm looking at this red right there, all right? So here's this red right there. Now I'm gonna pay attention to the detail.
This is where you start really controlling the brush. What I'm doing is I'm scooping up the paint and then I'm gonna glob it right there. Now I'm looking at my darks. So I have this color here, and it's a, this really red, and, and it's all these little brush strokes of that red right there. And I'm gonna put a little bit more red with this. Taking this uh, yellow, and then I see it here. See it here. So now what I want to do is I'm going to get a little green. This is uh, this is kind of these these colors here. This is pushes it away. It's like not in light. That's too strong. I'm going to take this right here. And I think it's more. I'm looking for greens. I'm just going to try to clean up the brush, leave the color on the canvas well. I can get back to that later. This here is this. Now I want to wipe the brush off. All right, let's put let's push let's push colors back. So one of the things that I'm doing is is I'm coming back and pushing. Uh, pushing colors forward, pushing colors back, pushing colors forward, pushing colors back. No, let me rephrase that. Pushing colors back, pushing light colors forward. So here I'm going to create this. Look at this brush work right here. This right there. You see how dark it is.
So now I'm looking looking for colors that push this is right here. This is The beauty about painting like this, it, it allows you to make mistakes and, and to fix them. Right. So, guys, um, come back. Uh, Come back next time and, and you'll see this finished and uh, um, we can continue with the, the lessons in creating and painting and having fun and pretty much doing anything guys so please come back and uh, enjoy and subscribe thank you very much uh, I know I keep asking for you guys to subscribe it's not it's not a monthly fee it just kind of helps us get our numbers up and if you guys are really getting something out of it, uh, we do appreciate it. So, comment. excuse me? Comment. Comment. Comment? Yeah, to comment on the video. I'll make a comment if you guys have any questions. Please uh, just let us know any ideas. Uh, if you want us to get off the show, just let us know as well. Uh, we're probably not going to listen to you, but uh, at least we know that you guys are out there. I do appreciate you guys and see you guys here in a little bit.